Not too long ago, if a celebrity came out as a gay American, it meant magazine covers talk show appearances. But now, if CNN anchor Anderson Cooper is any indication, more and more gay celebrities are choosing a defiantly mellow, matter-of-fact understatement. And that's as much a sign of the changing times as a new form of quiet activism. Now, if somebody uh, takes away something... Anderson others, Cooper. Others People it. know him. Basically, He's uh, the guy in the war zone or the hurricane or in the studio reporting the news with a unique earnestness and passion. And he's the guy with the daytime talk show, yucking it up with comedian Kathy Griffin. People know him. Today, Cooper made a simple, low-key, straightforward announcement. The fact is, I'm gay, he wrote in an email to blogger Andrew Sullivan of the Daily Beast, adding, always have been, always will be, and I couldn't be any more happy, comfortable with myself, and proud. Anderson Cooper's identity as a gay man was a fact many people suspected or gossiped about over the years, but one that Cooper himself had chosen to keep private. So why now? In his email to Sullivan, Cooper spoke of the struggles many gay and lesbian people still face every day. There continue to be far too many incidences of bullying of young people, and I believe there is value in making clear where I stand. It is a powerful statement, and I think it will go a long way toward helping to boost the self-esteem and the confidence of kids who are gay. Gay activists like Jim Key say what Cooper did today will make a difference. We know that coming out is still our most powerful weapon in fighting anti-LGBT bigotry, and now everybody knows that they know someone who is gay because people feel like they know Anderson. While Cooper was never publicly out until today, though family, friends, and colleagues knew, he has aggressively covered the plight of kids who've been bullied. This is not acceptable behavior. It's not cool behavior. And in a remarkable conversation with Ellen DeGeneres in 2010, he spoke out against the casual use of gay slurs. Words do have power, and they're used uh, like weapons. And when you're a kid, you know, it does, it can change the way you see yourself. So Anderson is out now. So much has changed in such a short time. I'm gay. When Ellen DeGeneres came out in 1997, she was a pioneer, and she paid the price. There were protests, huge media coverage, speculation that she had put her career in jeopardy. This is 2020. She spoke to Diane Sawyer about it. When was the last time you had a moment of doubt, wondering if it was the right thing? You know what? I made the decision during the summer that I wasn't going to live my life as a lie anymore. Since then, it's gotten better. From Neil Patrick Harris to Jim Parsons to Matt Bomer, the co-star of the movie Magic Mike, where he plays a male stripper making the hearts of women melt. Coming out has become less controversial, less risky, less newsworthy even. Today, in so many walks of life, in so many fields and schools and families, the truth can be told. And that's what's really important. As Anderson Cooper put it in his email today, I am blessed far beyond having a great career. I love and I am loved.